Joining me now, Peter Beck, CEO and founder of Rocket Lab. Peter, it's great to speak with you today. You just put out quarterly earnings, better than expectations. You also raised fourth quarter guidance. You continue to do more electron launches uh, and space systems continues to, to grow strongly. Walk me through what you're seeing across your businesses right now and what's propelling the momentum. Yeah, no, thanks very much, Morgan. Well, I mean, it is, it is as, you, as you say, so, you know, we continue to execute well on their space systems business. Um, and uh, Electron is the small launch vehicle product that, that we have is, you know, we continue to do with, do well with that. You know, the, the, uh, the ASP continues to rise and, and bookings are incredibly strong. And then, of course, uh, Neutron is, is making great progress. So, um, you know, there's a lot of technical milestones uh, met and, and also uh, some commercial ones as well with the first signing of some contracts. So, um, yeah, no, it was, it was a great quarter. And, um, you know, we continue to see really, really strong momentum within all the, the business lines. I do want to get to Neutron, but first, just the fact that so much of the time we talk about Rocket Lab, we talk about the rockets, but that space systems business um, it is the is the business that's growing so strongly right now and is is moving you closer to this path of profitability. So if we could just talk a little bit about what you're seeing there and the growth you're seeing there. Yeah, no, you're you're, you're exactly right. I mean, what we're trying to build here is an end-to-end -end space company. And you know, launch is super important. It's literally the keys to space. Um, but uh, you know, our space systems group uh, is is what enables us to build you know the, the infrastructure in orbit. So um, you know, we we supply components to a tremendous number of, of of projects around the industry. But you know, if you look across um, the space systems group right now, we have over forty spacecraft in in backlog, and you know, ranging from missions to Mars through to telecommunications and and national security missions. So. Yeah, that, that part of the business continues to go from strength to strength. But I think it's always important to, to remind everybody that, you know, the end goal here is, is to, to build an end-to-end -end space company, uh, launch being a cornerstone. But um, as you point out, that, you know, the ability to build whatever satellite you need to provide, you know, whatever service is desired is, is super important. And so if we shift back to launch here, what are you seeing in terms of interest for Electron, especially as you do start to develop this? new medium lift rocket Neutron. Yeah, so, uh, you know, Electron had another strong quarter with over $55 million of, of new bookings. And then, of course, Neutron, uh, you know, th this is the largest project within within the company. And, uh, and New Neutron is really designed to do a couple of things. Um, one, uh, you know, is to, is to try and uh, dislodge some of the, the medium class launch monopoly that, that's in the industry today. Um, and also, uh, you know, provide a, uh, an ability for us to launch our own payloads and build our own constellations and services uh, in, in orbit. So having that, that reusable multi-ton uh, capability is, is, you know, really, really important. Neutron's still on track for its first flight next year? Yeah, you bet. No, we, we're, we're hitting some, some great milestones. So, uh, you know, the Archimedes engine is, is, is going really well. And, um, you know, we had a, a major milestone of a, of a stage two tank, you know, in full uh, full flight configuration in, in, a, in a wet dress, and um, so no, it's 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 going well. I mean, I always always caveat with it. it's you know it's a rocket program, so you know, you know anything can happen at any time. But um, you know, right now I think the team's feeling really good, and um, and uh, you know we're 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 reaching those milestones that we need to. And you announced that you signed your first customer as well. Uh, you've also stated your intention to go for national security contracts. What do you see as the biggest marketplace for that new rocket? It's a bit of both, really. Um, so, you know, obviously, um, you know, there's tremendous demand within the commercial sector, uh, a lot of mega constellations, and, and you know, you saw us, you know, sign our first uh, commercial customer in, in, in that vein. Um, but, but, but also, uh, you know, on national security, uh, if you look at, the, you know, the, the national security front right now, especially NSSL, um, you know, phase three, lane one, uh, you know, that was, there was really, a, you know, the last award was to, to one provider. So there's a desperate need for some kind of diversity um, within within national security around that 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 kind of um, lane one medium class launch. And you know we've been very lucky over the years to work very closely with uh, the space force and and you know to bring a vehicle to market that uh, is is incredibly relevant to the mission. So uh, yeah, no, we we look forward to you know on ramping the vehicle and and playing our you know our role within the the, the national security um, of of the nation. So what do you think a second Trump administration is going to mean for space policy? Well, I, th I think, it, I think it's, it's, it's good. I mean, uh, you know, the, the, the administration has a very strong focus on uh, space and national defense. Um, and when space does well, uh, Rocket Lab does well. Um, so, uh, so, so we're very happy about that. And of course, there's, there's an even, even stronger focus on 
uh, on highly efficient um, uh, contracting and highly efficient outcomes uh, for, for taxpayers' dollars in, in, in the space domain. So um, uh, that, that's where Rocket Lab you know, excels as well. I mean, uh, you know, if you look at, uh, at you know, our historical kind of government missions, uh, they've always been at, at price points and timelines that I think this administration will find very attractive. Mm. SpaceX has dominated the launch market largely. Um, you now have Elon Musk in the mix with the administration. What do you think that potentially means? I think it will even even sharper focus on on those two things: a sharper focus on space and and a, sh a sharper focus on efficiency, um, which we yeah that, that's great for us. Okay, um, and in terms of uh, neutron, as you do start to see more other types of rockets come online, including SpaceX's Starship, I just wonder which you see this com competitive landscape evolving to. Yeah, I mean, it's funny. I mean, uh, look, I, I recall a conversation we probably had a few years ago about the small launch industry and, and you know, there was at one point something like 100 small launch vehicles and, it, and, and you know, it basically shaped out to, to just one. Um, and I think you'll see this, a similar kind of, uh, you know, whittling down in the medium class as well. I think there's a number of medium class launch vehicles in development, but, um, you know, getting a vehicle to the bad at pad and then scaling it is, is extraordinarily hard as, as, as we've seen. Um, so, uh, yeah, so I think, um, you know, it, it's going to be a, a, a relatively um, condensed um, in, environment um, for, for launch, um, which, is, uh, which, is, which is great for demand. But, um, you know, I think there's, there's a number of new interesting um, uh, launch vehicles and, and services coming on, on, on the market. So, um, yeah, it, it'll, be, it'll be busy times for everybody. Mm, and whether it's from the launch standpoint or whether it's from the space system standpoint, the fact that Rocket Lab has its hands in, and honestly, some of the most dynamic space exploration programs that we're seeing uh, take shape right now. I wonder what you're most excited about. Well, yeah, there's, to your point, there's a lot to be excited about. Um, you know, obviously, Neutron opens opens a, a you know a lot up for us, especially in in providing and you know, ultimately providing services from space. Uh, but I think about you know some of the other programs. You know, we've talked about the national security, but you know, one that that uh, that we've got our eye on is the Mars sample return. You know, it's one of NASA's most important missions, and uh, and we think we're, we're really well placed to uh, to 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 go after that. Um, if you look at all the key elements, uh, whether it's launching off uh, a little planet with little rockets, I mean, I'm not sure who does that better than us, um, and through to bringing samples back to Earth. So, uh, yeah, there's a, there's a lot to be excited about, um, and uh, you know, we, we, we're we're certainly putting our oar in the water in a lot of those really large uh, large you know nationalistic programs. You still have plans to go to Venus? Absolutely, but as you know, it's a nights and weekends project, so there's not that many nights and weekends <laughs> anymore. Um, we're, we're too busy doing uh, doing all the stuff. But uh, no, it, it's a, a philanthropic project that we have to to search for life in Venus. And um, uh, you know, currently, I think we're we're, we're aiming for about a 2026 launch. Um, you know, it'll it'll be very helpful to have uh, have Neutron up and running there, uh, so to, to you know to be able to loft that up. But um, but yeah, no, it's it's certainly a uh, you know, a project that we're very passionate about here. Mm. And then finally, given the fact that Rocket Lab stock is up double digits today, it's more than tripled over the past three months. It's up something like 380% over the past six months. I could just keep going here. But it does seem like a tide has turned in terms of investors starting to understand the space business. I, I wonder if you think that's true. Yeah, I, I think so. I mean, look, SpaceX is is the largest in, uh, space company in in the world, and I think people are, st are starting to, to to understand that that, that Rocket Lab is is looking like it's going to come in as the number two. And uh, you know, if 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 you look at the the you know SpaceX's valuation, it's something like two hundred over two hundred billion dollars. Rocket Lab is five percent of that, or under five percent of that. And as those two companies start to look more and more similar. Uh, it's not surprising that, you know, the valuation gap uh, starts to decrease over time. Peter Beck, founder and CEO of Rocket Lab. Always great to speak with you. Thank you so much. Thanks, Morgan. Great to catch up.